Well, I was going to put something out on, um, you know, the NSA and stuff. There's more information, but I said, I ain't going to do that. What I want to do instead is, uh, <laughs> I got my third spooky generator here. And they got a really cool setting in here I'll make you aware of. It's, um, it's called DNA Special. And... You know, it's you know, it's this is like a science that's uh, kind of like in its infancy, so I ain't gonna promise nothing here. But the theory is, it does some cool stuff. So I actually have the generator hooked up to this computer, and uh, well, let me just read the read this PDF. This is actually the frequencies that the DNA special is gonna run. It's actually a custom program written by John White. So it's running 10,126 off of this generator right here. DNA preparation for change. Then it does 528 DNA repair. Now, D, D528 actually is the 16th uh, power of the um, the 33 hertz. Like if you go, the, you know, if you bring it up times 16. It's 528. 33 hertz is also called the Christ Consciousness Frequency, the Pyramid Frequency or something. And it's interesting that, you know, if you go to the 16 uh, octave, whatever it is, you get DNA repair. I always found that weird, you know. Then 417, facilitating change. See, this is actually what he has. You know, and I know what that meant, so I was trying to find out what they meant. 7 hertz is DNA teleportation. Then 2850.24 is the vitamin C gene. Now I'm going to explain something about what he's actually, what it's attempting to do, theoretically. Then it says 10 hertz. I'll explain to you why the vitamin C. 10 hertz DNA balance store and change. 7 hertz DNA teleportation. 528 hertz DNA repair, and then end the change. So it starts at 1026, ends with 1026. Now this, um, this glutalactinose oxidase, the vitamin C gene, right? Researchers believe that the reinstallation of that gene in humans would extend the lifespan hundreds of years. Actually, if you take it out of animals, they don't live that long. Most animals produce their own vitamin C. We have this gene, but it's dormant. It's like the, the we had we have three of four genes, and the fourth gene is dormant. If we had all four, guess what? <laughs> We'd probably live in hundreds of years old and be young. So this is a cool little theory. You know, I was going to put something out about the NSA. I figured, what the hell with this doom and gloom garbage? And you never know, man. Maybe this can actually uh, go against uh, some of the weird stuff they're doing with HARP, for all I know. And uh, now this transports, transmits by quantum entanglement, supposedly. I mean, I can't get my mind wrapped around this deal either, but... I tried a couple things out and it seemed to really work and I'm uh, I'm still a skeptic, okay? I mean, you know, I'm not a, you know, but I think it really is hard science. I'm really it's really like uh, it's just too freaky to believe. So anyway, you go over here and you know this is hooked up to the generator, right? This this computer. So we double click on this, the DNA special. Now I got it hooked I'm gonna run it at twenty volts i mean i don't know they say four or five i i, I never i never saw any problem running on a 20 volts i don't know what the hell the problem is you know some people do so some say they're sensitive i don't know i don't seem to be sensitive i'm only one run one generator one uh remote i got another one but i'm just gonna run the one so i'm gonna have out two at, on zero volts and zero hertz then I'm going to run a positive offset because I'm totally sold on what Holder Clark says about positive offset, even though I'm not trying to knock out microbes. I figure, what the hell, right? So I'm going to click this on and it's square wave and just a plain square wave. Click it in. Here goes the waveforms. Load them up. Load them up, baby. This cool ass program. I mean, if you even got nothing wrong with you, maybe you want to experiment with this. And you know, here it is, it's working, so it's cooking along, and you can see there it is, there it is. So, anyway, it's doing its thing. So, what can I tell you? Um, you know, I figure, you know, what the hell? Because actually, if this theory works, 
it, it's mind-boggling to think this, but this, this thing could reverse age people even. And I'm thinking, you know, what the hell? I mean, you don't have to be hooked up to nothing, right? You put your fingernail clipping and uh, the, the tape so it picks up on the DNA. Um, what do you call it? The remote holder, and it transmits the frequencies to the body. And again, what it's doing is all these frequencies in this order DNA preparation for change. So it's supposedly, it's theory, is it's getting in your DNA. DNA repair, then it facilitates the change in your DNA. DNA teleportation, then it does the vitamin C gene when it's all like opened up or something, I guess. DNA balance, so it kind of balances it up. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, I don't know, I don't know how this works exactly, but, and you know, I don't think anybody tell you the truth, maybe they do, but I tend to think there's something to this more than, I think it's legit. I don't know how strong it is. That's the deal. Then back to DNA teleportation, DNA repair again. Then you facilitate the end of the change. You do the end of the change. And I'm just going to keep running this puppy over and over again. So, we shall see. So, you know, it's putting the vitamin C in there when the, uh, your genes are kind of like uh, opened up. You know, DNA is opened up, whatever the hell it is. I think that's pretty cool. And you don't have to be hooked up to it, so... If you're worried about what Harp's doing, Chemtrails is doing, and the NSA, I might put something out on that anyway. Some, I got a little more unique information, but I don't want to worry people too much. Because what do you do about it, right? What do you do about it? Hey, maybe, I don't know. You know, if they got weird stuff they can do to people and mind control, maybe you can unmind control them with uh, something like this. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But anyway, over and out, I figured I'd just tell you about this because this guy John White he's got some really really cool stuff in his program and uh, I know it's a lot of it's pretty theoretical maybe I don't know maybe maybe it's not as theoretical as I think it is because I'm not you know I haven't been dealing with this that long some people have been dealing with this for many years and they might not you know maybe I'm being you know bad when I'm saying I think it's theoretical because I'm not I'm not 100% sure but uh, this seems to be uh, a little bit more than theoretical, in my opinion, so I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I figure what the hell, and you know, if you're worried about what HARP does and chemtrails do, you know, it even has in here programs to uh, address chemtrails, allegedly, and Gulf War Syndrome and stuff, so pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff, to say the least, so anyway, um, I figured I'd point this one out, because I thought this is a really cool one, the DNA Special. DNA special, it's, it's basically repairing and facilitating change in your DNA. Then it's running the vitamin C gene frequency. The thing that allegedly would live because it lived to be hundreds of years old. Now isn't that wild if that worked, huh?